welcome back to my channel y'all and as you already know i have another wig for you and this is actually another unit from you dreamy as you already know i am such a huge fan of them they are an amazon vendor so definitely go ahead and check them out i reviewed their yellow wig and i also reviewed their platinum gray wig and i'm so in love with them they are very affordable and each wig that i've gotten from them has been under $40 so that's definitely great but as you already know Halloween or whenever you're watching this video Halloween is around the corner and I'm so excited because for the whole month of October I think I'm going to dedicate all of my looks towards Halloween so with that said I got their green long wig it is so pretty it is like a forest leaf green it's not like the lime green as you can see like everybody's been rocking i wanted to go for something a little more subtle because i have a couple looks that i actually want to use this for when i am doing um other videos for halloween so this is what it looks like it is very long i believe this is probably like 20 cents inches it's probably longer than that all of the units are pretty long or at least the ones that i pick but they do have like shorter ones they do have natural color ones and they do have like um like neon colors as well so with this one i was like i know i have so many ideas that i want to use for this so um this was around $36.99 I believe which is not bad because I know I spent more on wigs but a wig at this length and this color with this cap construction for it to be under $40 that is amazing I cannot stress enough how much y'all should go ahead and check out their site as y'all already know I'm gonna keep ordering from them because you know they get your girl right with these wigs so just to go with the cap construction, it's just like the standard cap construction um, as it is before. It does um, only come with two combs. Well, three. Usually, you know, with wigs, there's one in the back right here, but you can always add one in the back. So there's one on the right, one on the left, and one behind where the lace ends um, on the part of the crown area. But just take a look at the cap construction as you can see the webs are definitely sewn in and very tight you do get a lot of parting space roughly around maybe like four inches of parting space like towards the like middle of the crown and probably like two inches on the side which I feel like is enough because I don't do too much with my wigs but I also want you to see how it looks so you will need to put some foundation or if you want to bleach the notch you definitely can but with me I just put foundation on um, on here that way it can blend in with my scalp more. Another thing with them they do provide you with a stocking cap which is really great. I left it over here y'all. So um, sorry about that. So I do have the stocking cap. I did open it and you get two stocking caps and I got it in a brown color which matches my skin tone the best. So um, maybe I think you can actually ask them what kind of color stocking caps that they have that could possibly match your skin tone a little bit better. But I'm so glad about these because y'all remember back in the day where you had to cut like pantyhose in order for it to match your scalp because they really wasn't coming out with these. So I'm really excited about that. But it's so pretty and it's so long. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to try this on and let you see how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut the lace. So as you can see here, I'm not going to do too much with this wig. I'm not going to even pluck the hairline because I feel like the hairline 
is as good as it is I mean I probably would go in a little bit more when I am doing other styles but I want you to see that this is very wig user friendly where you don't have to do too much now this does come with Swiss lace so it is very soft so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut 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 I'm just going to cut close to the lace. I always leave like maybe like a half an inch with my wigs because I feel like sometimes when you cut it too close, like it will end up tearing a lot more. So I just leave myself, you know, just enough room. And I usually stop in the middle of the crown and then I go to the other side and I just see I got all these flyways y'all so make sure it's okay if you cut some of the hair like um so go ahead and cut 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 See, once again, even though it looks like I'm cutting, like, really close, I'm not. So, I'm just going boop, boop, boop. And, yeah. So, I probably might speed this part up because I think y'all get the point. So, I'm going to cut it so that it doesn't fall. Okay. So, cut the lace. And what I'm going to do now, just because the lace is way too light for my skin complexion. You see that? Like, you can definitely detect that. I'm going to just take, like, a sponge with some foundation on it. If you have a powder, definitely use, you know, to, um, just to, like, color the lace. Because one time when I was dabbing it in my foundation... I thought I had got enough foundation off the brush. Now you see how that looks? It looks a little better. And you can even go on top. Now you see how that's starting to blend and where the makeup is versus where the makeup is not. So it's a little more detectable. So once again, where the makeup is. So. I'm going to just do like this. And as you can see, it is changing. It is getting a little darker. You can um, make it a little darker to your liking. But just because I'm just reviewing this and I'm going to be taking it off right after review, I just want it just to blend in a little bit more before I try it on. I am back and I have the cap that they provided me with on so I just have this slick down as you know I got a big forehead so yeah got it slicked down and my edge is right um so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this on once again all I did was cut the lace and just put a little foundation in um what was left on my sponge on the back and I am I don't know how y'all put your wig on, but I put my wig on like that, so I want y'all to see how how pretty this is. Now, y'all probably might want to cut more lace, but I want y'all to see how it looks. I really don't want to put no gossipy glue on it because I'm going to be taking this right back off, but this is how it looks when you put it on very pretty green very pretty i'm gonna try to go back so that y'all can fully see the hair so does this shed it does shed just a little bit just a couple strands but i mean when you have a full colored hair like this you're bound to get that not every wig is going to be perfect but I don't feel like that's alarming shedding. And so I really want y'all to see how pretty this is. 
So that's the parting, y'all. That's pretty. I didn't even pluck it, but I think that that parting is nice if I put some more like foundation on it. So this is it, like straight out the bag, cutting the lace and putting foundation in the back. If you ask me, once again, they have outdone themselves. Oh. So. so of course this is going to lay better if I put some gossipy glued right here, but this is how it looks in the middle. And I'm going to go um, grab my comb. So everything is so far today. Like usually I be on it. Usually I be having everything in arm's reach. Now I gotta step away from y'all. So I want y'all to check out the parting. So as you can see the parting does look nice. I would probably go in and just pluck it some. You know. But make sure you're careful when you are plucking it. Because you do not want to rip the lace. But that is, I love this. This is great Halloween cosplay here. So this is how it looks um, in the middle. Now when I wore their gray one, I loved it in the middle. But I think with this one, I think I'm going to have to try a side port. So I'm going to zhuzh it to the side, baby. Zhuzh it. Oh, you see? You see? It's all about position. Position of the party. I should do a video called position of the party. Because sometimes it's not the wig, y'all. Sometimes it's how you position the wig. Now, this is gorgeous. Like, look at that. That middle part wasn't hitting it. But this side part, this side part is everything and I mean if y'all want to darken the roots just to make it look a little more natural you can definitely go ahead but okay I'm gonna warn y'all if y'all mess up it is so hard to wash out like I said when I had the incident with the foundation it was so hard to get I couldn't even get it out and that happened in my yellow wig that was the first wig I got from them so be careful but I think, you know, this will be real pretty if you did give it like a slight dark root. Because as you can see, as I tell y'all, my hairline always goes out. But I'm pretty sure if I was to like put the cap on and then, um, you know, put the spritz on it and then cut it to give me like a bald head look and then put this on top, it would look even more natural. But since I'm just doing it and rocking it like this... I feel like y'all yeah, get the point. But of course, when I take pictures, y'all, I'm going to make sure this ain't showing. This is so pretty. I'm about to fall, y'all, just so y'all can see how pretty this is. Oh, and this necklace. They got this necklace pie. I'm going to do it like behind the ear. Make sure my lace ain't detected. This is so y'all see that that is so pretty so tell me what y'all think about this green color about this wig i'm trying to stand on my tippy toes so y'all can see how long it is but i think it's so i think it's very sleek like a sleek green it's not too like oh my gosh that's green hair like everybody's been rocking even though i do like the lime green hair but this one, I feel like this is a lot more subtle on my green tone. This is actually like one of my favorite colors. Especially it's a great fall color. And if you do like wear your makeup, you can wear it however you want. But I suggest you go with like a nighttime natural look. Just because you don't want to take away from the hair. You know, sometimes less is more. If you got something that's very out there in your face, go a little subtle with, with the makeup. Just a little tip. So definitely check them out. I'll make sure I post all the information in the, sh in the description below. And if you do get this wig because of me, make sure you tag me, y'all. Make sure y'all also like, share, and comment. Also, as you know, on the road to my 1K giveaway. So I'll probably be announcing my giveaway before the end of this month. So there's going to be some rules. Okay, but I'll make sure that y'all get some really great 
you know gifts in this giveaway so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a 360 okay so this is how it looks all in the front it's very long I'm gonna try to put it back I'm gonna knock down my whole setup just so y'all can see how long this is this is how it looks all in the front this is how it looks on the left side this is how it looks all in the back this is how it looks on the right and this is how it looks in the front so yeah and as you can see you don't got to do much and you can already see how bomb the parting is without me doing anything besides plucking a little bit so yeah make sure y'all check them out i'm so in love with this i'm about to go ahead and take some pictures for y'all so y'all make sure y'all like share slay and subscribe okay until then stay beautiful and click that notification link I just wanted to hurry up and come back in and I'm not going to put any gas to be glues. I'm just going to take my Tresemme cold spray. I'm just going to put a little bit right here because I just want my pictures to look decent. And I'm just going to do that. I ain't going to even get the blood dry, y'all. And as you can see, like, just me putting a little foundation and a little bit of this. It like blends in like right into my scalp. So I'm just going to do it a little bit like that. And now I'm about to go take some pictures. I just wanted y'all to see how great this lace is. How flat the parting lays. Like I didn't put no heat in it or nothing. Everything I put on here is exactly what I did.